Whoa, camera shake. Okay, let's be careful this time. You can't just walk up to the, what's that? Okay, there's a. It's the Holy Grail. Oh, I got it. Oh, wild. Okay, so the cat went, okay. Let's do this. So we are going to play some of the games, uh, some of the EAE games that were made last, uploaded hot, hot fresh off the presses last night. Uh, we will start with a song of quality and assurance. <clears throat> and then we'll go down the list. A song of quality and assurance is a game where you strive to repair the errors in a fantasy world adventure through four distinct fantasy locations that have broken broken by intruding out of place elements this hilarious and meta adventure gives you all the fantasy memes you you'll ever need instructions left click to advance the text right click to affect the world left click to advance right click this sounds awesome okay let's check out the executable can the download that baby this is not the, the hypersonic speed. So next time I'm going to start downloading the executable. And then, and then I will uh, start describing the game. So Vostris, thank you so much. It is a happy snow day indeed. I hope you're making the most of it by uh, relaxing. It was a long weekend. How are you feeling after this weekend? So Sylvostris was one of the jammers. Spent all weekend long working on games up the University of Utah. Okay, song of uh, quality and assurance. I am so excited to play this. Uh, spoiler alert, I saw some of it played um, last night. And I was laughing like crazy. Okay, here we go. Oops. The Trav, I can't wait to see that either. Thank you everybody for stopping by today. This is awesome. Okay, so main menu, play, credits, and quit. I've got to applaud you guys for having a menu. And just let me know how the, is the volume okay? I think I have it turned up pretty high on my desktop, so it's kind of blasting my eardrums. Sorry about that, leave. Okay, here we go. JPMB, welcome to the chat, my friend. Let's check this out. Okay, we got a forest, a beautiful forest. So, this looks like the way I should go, but this also looks like a way to go. Oh, nope, it is not. Okay, so I'm directed. Can I go this way? Hey, listen, are you awake yet? Hey, listen. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so... What are you doing here? I am here to start your magical quest. You see, the Lady of the Lake needs to see you, and you are the only one who can help us. Great. Okay, a little drop down here. Little, uh... We call this a valve in the industry. Oh, but you can get back up. Nice. Yeah, serious level design here. Okay, let's go find this Lady of the Lake. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous. All right, we got some stairs. Let's take the stairs. Oh, that, I think that was the proper way down. Oh, I took a shortcut. Fair enough. <clears throat> traveling through some ambient music you guys you had 48 hours to make this game why why are the all of the bells and whistles not in here this is awesome by the way oh, look at that oh no what happened <laughs> what happened to the lady of the lake looks like she is the lady of the lakers now Haha, <laughs> the Lady of the Lakers. It is just as we feared. 
I have just enough magic power to change her back, but this is the only time I will be able to do this for you. Thank you, brave adventurer. It seems the evil had taken hold of me too. You see, there is a terrible rift in our world, far up in the mountains of Smeow. Foul, evil creatures have been released on the poor people of this realm, and like in many other fantasy stories, you are the only one who can help us. I will give you a new power to combat this darkness. Okay, we Go have- Go forth and banish these demons from our peaceful home. Find the village of Hagsmaid. There, the villagers will aid you on your quest. They will show you the way. Alright, they'll show me the way. Great. Let's do this. One second, I need to fix... Okay, I'll fix it after. I can't see... I can't really see half of the chat, so I apologize, those of you in chat. Um, but I need to go to Hagsmead. They will show me the way. Cool, cool. Good looking around. Looks like I need to go through this doorway here. Little affordance action. What is going on here? So there's. Oh no! They are R O U S S. R U S S. R O U S S. Rodents of unusual size. You have to save the townsfolk. Fair enough. Let's save the townsfolk. They are moving too fast. There has got to be a way to fix this. Wonder what happens if I fall. I don't dare find out. Maybe we can trick them somehow. There has got to be something around here that can help us. It's gotta be. What can help us? That's blocking my path. Got some nice lights directing me. All right, some cheese. That's got to be able to help us, right? Oh, it turned into a big battery. Oh, and now the mice are watching it. Okay. Yeah. Take that. I love the explosion. It's a classic. Okay. They seem happy. Was that all of them? Okay. Well, I'm going to take the stairs now. The townspeople seem happy. Thank you for saving us. We thought we were goners. Where did a brave and attractive young adventurer like you come from? The Lady of Oleg sent me. Blessed be the Lady of Oleg. If you keep going through the village, you will find a gate. Beyond the gate is the entrance to a terrible abandoned mine filled with spiders. Oh boy. Why spiders? Why not follow the butterflies? You must also beware the chain troll who guards the troll bridge. He will ask you questions, so be on your guard. Alright. Be on your guard. Uh, I love that you put in that voiceover. It's hilarious. Okay, oh, here's the entrance to the cave. It's lovely. <clears throat> what is all of this? I thought they said there would be spiders in here. I'm, I'm assuming I go this way? No. That's the entrance. Okay. Oh, okay. The path was a little vague, but I see it now. I see it now. Oh. This is not a mine. It is a loom. It is a loom. Why is it not working? We have to find the source. Let's find the source. Where's the source? Oh, look. There's a yarn gate. Um, um, that looks like, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, great work, guys. So JP OMB says that was a really nice view entering the path with the sun and stuff. Nice work on level design. Okay, where's the source? Like, should I just jump into the water? Okay, that's where I came from. 
Right? Isn't that where I came? Oh, yeah, I came from up there. All right, let's just walk in the water. No. It looks like the source is right there. But I can't do anything. I'm stuck. Wait, is there... That's... Pretty sure. Uh, any advice from uh, chat? Okay, that's where I came from. That looks like the source, maybe. Oh, what's this? Is that the source? It was a big spider web that wasn't there before. Oh, there we go. Something happened. Okay. And we're free. We're free. We must have found the source. It's beautiful. These caves are beautiful. You guys did a lot of work on this for 48 hours. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, I was trying to figure out how to make it automatically. I this is a troll bridge. I did not expect a bridge made out of troll. <laughs> Hulk, none shall pass. Not until they answer my questions. What is your name? Oh, what is my name? Barry Potter? What is your quest? Uh, to close the rift? What is the airspeed velocity of an enlightened swallow? African or European. I know that one. I fixed it! Oh, snap. What happened? Oh. I have to jump. Save us all, traveler. But beware the desolation of Smeaug. Smeaug! Your guard. I will. I will be on my guard, my friend. Okay. What is this action? Oh, look at that. Some unreal text. Beautiful. There, that is where Smeaug lives. <gasps> It's beautiful. All all on the nose, huh? mm -hmm. We must be careful. This is the last level of the game. All right, here we go. Oh, that is awesome. I this is so good. That was scary. Okay, what we're... is that terrible smell? What is that smell? What's this? Is this a secret? Oh, look at that! There's a uh, Nintendo 64 just hanging out there. Beautiful. This is pretty. Got some switchbacks. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that beautiful cat! What? Is that Smeaug? It is a fine cat. Can I go through Smeaug? No. What are you doing? She has always looked like that. What? Wait. Up there. That is where Smeaug lives. I. What happened? Okay, that's awesome. Um, it reset me, and I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna go up again. We're gonna try and. All it all on the nose, huh? We must be careful. What is that terrible this is smell? the last level of the game. Fail state. Okay. Oh, I failed. You totally just walked up to the boss with no fear. I uh, yeah, I thought. I didn't realize I had to fight. Okay, I will battle the boss. I failed. Whoa! Camera shake. Okay, let's be careful this time. You can't just walk up to the... What's that? Okay. There's a... It's the Holy Grail. Oh, I got it. Oh, wild. 
Okay, so the cat went. Okay. You have done it. Toss a coin to your adventure. Oh, value of plenty. Now we can close the rift. Follow me. Damn, I hate portals. Yay, is that it? Beautiful. Everybody give a round of applause. Virtually. That was awesome. Uh, really, uh, shout out to that dev, dev team. Let's uh, let's mention them again. Song of Quality and Insurance. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on, my friends. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put a pin in the Affordable Care action and move on to Rick, Ricky and Beavis's dilemma. Damn dilemma. Ricky and Beavis's Damn Dilemma is a multiplayer game where you take control of Beavis and Ricky. The local river is running out of control this season, and it is up to you to maintain your dam. Okay, so... Why won't you... Okay, we're waiting. Maybe Global Game Jam might busy be busy. So this is the beautiful team that worked on this. It was a four-man team plus a sidekick, that cute little puppy. No, we have not played the beaver game. So here's the problem. I, I, this is a four-player game, and I do not have any friends. So what I'm going to do is see if it'll run single-player so we can take a look at it. But look, I tell you, if there was a Best Visuals Award, the last one had really good design. This one's just pretty, though. So these are the little beavers. I love how they have uh, four unique characters, and, they all, and two of them have hats. So props to the hat modelers uh, of this Global Game Jam. I think that should be a, an award in its entirely. Uh, we got the credits here. Let's download this. Yeah, best writing award should be given as well. I, there should have been a lot more awards. So I will give you awards and high fives all week long. How about that? Oh, I was supposed to click on the N64. Oh, man. I wish I'd known. Uh, that isn't that a beautiful game though? I am like we have some creative, talented people at the University of Utah. I'm not gonna lie. I played a lot of Global Game Jam games coming up to the Game Jam, and so I kind of had my expectations. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you this weekend though. This is the second year I did. I've uh, been part of the Global Game Jam at the University of Utah, and they all the students were so professional this year. They impressed me so much. Okay. So I think we got the game. Okay, Ricky and Beavis, let's see what you got, my friends. Made in Unity. Press A to start, Y for controls. Okay, so I'm just gonna beat it then. Oh, cool. So... Okay, so you have to grab a certain color. I have to... Okay. okay, one second. First, I have to turn down my volume because it's hurting my ears. Two, I need to look at the controls. Beautiful splash screen. It's like these people know how to make games or something. Okay, Y for controls. I pressed Y for controls. Okay. Uh, y for controls does not work. Do I need a Do I need to use a controller for this? Let's see. I don't have a controller here. So it's a beautiful game, so it looks like I have to put up the correct color of uh, wood into the boxes. Um, oh look, I got it, I got it. Okay, so I just held down on that. Oh, what happened? Everybody lost. Am I saving the award uh, winning faculty game for last? Uh, I think that is inaccurate. Uh, assumption. Okay, let's see. 
that's a... So I got... So I click on it. Oh, I hold it down. Hold down the clicker. Where do I take it? Oh, I put it... Oh! Okay, let's try this again. So you take it to the dam. And then it gives me more time, like it does. Okay. Cool. So everyone else is dying, and I am still alive. So you take it. This is, this is well done, though. Honestly. So you take the different colors. Like now I need a blue. Red. Player one wins! I win! I win! Uh, if anyone's here from uh, Ricky and Beavis, uh, well done, my friends. Well done. That was super fun. All right, so that was uh, Beavis, uh, Ricky and Beavis. Uh, but there are four players, though. Ricky and Beavis, are they the ones with hats on? Can anyone? Yeah, I won. I'm pretty good at this game. Four-player co-op. Uh, so get some friends. This will be released on something, I hope, in the future. Because it should be. It all should be. It will be released on the Global Game Jam webpage forever. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, the one you've all been waiting for. Is anyone ready for... Shang Wing Ella, am I pronouncing that? Shang Wing, Shang Wing Ella, 5.5. We'll read it in just one moment. Let's start at the download because I think this may be a hefty, hefty download. Uh, 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 game website repository. Oh, here we go. Executable. Okay, this is a big team. Look at that team size. Look at that team picture. Look at those beautiful human beings. And that cover art is bananas. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, occasional player. That was a really good one. I was so impressed. Pepperoni, great to see you, my friend. Uh, for those who are just jumping in, we are playing the EAE University of Utah Global Game Ga Ugh. Global Game Jam games. That's a mouthful. Uh, these were the games that were worked on all weekend long. I was up there um, providing emotional support, pizza, and uh, beverages and treats while these uh, students rocked it. Yeah, I thought it was like Shangri-La. Shang... Shang... Well, I don't know. I can't pronounce it, my friend. shang wing -la. Okay, that works. Uh, this one already has five hearts. Holy cow. No, I... So shang wing -la has downloaded. I didn't give... Um, I didn't give... Uh, Ricky and Beavis, any hearts, so I've got to go back. We've got to go back. Because they deserve hearts for that. That was a beautiful game. Okay, I'm going to extract this one. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick trip down memory lane and give them the heart that this so they so desperately deserve. Okay. Oh, they've got multiple hearts too. Good job. If you guys are hearting our level, our uh, our team's games, good job. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's open. Let's open this web page. Okay. So let's uh, let's talk about this. This is another generic franchise antagonist destined to be wiped out in another sequel film. After five devastating movies, however, the Shang Wangellas. I have a different plan. Before the next film is set to shoot, can you repair the Shang, -Wen Shang -Wen army to overcome the studio's plan for another genocide? That is deep. That is deep. I think we can. Okay. I'm streaming at 576p. Um, I... I am just doing whatever Streamlabs tells me to do. Okay, here we go. Uh, it may be the snowstorm internet. All right, my friends, check this out. Crunch Munchers is the name of the team. Oh, 
باز کن تو می ترم بوسه این Is this original music? This is I like John Soda. Thanks for stopping by. Shame on me all day long. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I, what? Space bar. So I think I'm supposed to slam the space bar. Do I just keep going? Okay. I, okay, now what do I do? Am I supposed to hit something? Wait, wait, what happened? Wait, wait, what? What's going Okay, I can pause. That's great. You got a pause screen. Um, um, um. I think they did make all the music. It's so awesome. What, what? Okay, what am I supposed to do? What? I don't know what's going on. You're supposed to be able to switch, right, between screens? Oh, Z to switch? Okay. Okay, that means switch. Okay, now I'm supposed to run. Right? I'm supposed to try and... Wait, how do I... Oh, I just did something. Oh, space bar. Okay, let's switch. I think you should just automatically switch. So now I'm Perry the Platypus trying to... Okay, next, collect the gar collect the sticks, right? I can't move down. Oh, there we go. Collect the stuff. Okay, I'm collecting the stuff. Collecting the garbage. There's no garbage. Okay, I'm gonna switch again. Okay. Okay, switch. Okay, I gotta build my uh, my defense perimeters, right? Oh, there's people coming already. What do I do? What do I do? Is this the epic battle? Okay. So confusing. What is going on? Now there's people in here. Okay, here's the garbage collector again. Okay, and here's this guy. Am I fighting now? Okay. Okay, this is the... No! No, no, no. Where's... What is... They're all fighting. I want to watch. Okay. So now they all should be fighting, right? Let's build my... Oh, there we go. So I've got my little army of minions. Did I win? No, I didn't win. Look at that. 
Come on, little guy. Come on. Don't let him get you down. Come on. Come on. That guy is tough. No, I don't know if I do need to make more baddies. I think this one's going to take him out. Look at that. Okay, let's go. Come on, little baddie. Come on. I won! I won! <laughs> so I just want to point out this was this team the entire weekend what you're hearing right now seriously epic That was Global Game Jam at its finest, my friends. Okay. I just feel like we had to go through that theme music. I just want to point out that I've... You of you, yay. What is this now? What is it? Oh, look at this. That is epic. The Star Wars theme. So that was an experience. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That was awesome. That was awesome. I would like to point out that I've well, just the sorry, the scrolling text was 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 Star Wars esque. I didn't mean to imply that the whole thing was Star Wars themed, although it is aliens. Uh, and see, it, so I think we can compare it quite a bit to Star Wars. It, uh, it involves uh, uh, sequels, aliens, planets taking over, garbage, scrolling text. I think that nails Star Wars. Six point five is going to be bananas. Even 5.6 will be a huge upgrade. So when I watched this played on screen, it made like zero sense, but it was crazy. And uh, playing it, uh, it made a lot more sense. It was actually a much more intuitive experience than I expected, and that was fantastic. Did I give you guys a heart yet? You guys deserve another heart. Okay. Next we have Repower. Yeah, I was just going to play uh, University of Utah games. Did you have a request? Fahrenheit 350? I completely agree. That soundtrack should be available. For that soundtrack was bananas. Okay, Repower. Let's start downloads first. Yeah, I think today is just going to be a short stream, just streaming the... University of Utah games, and then uh, during the week, I might do some more playing some of the other ones. The language diversifier was a big mistake. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it made your game. I think your game would have been completely different if you'd had more like language in it. What is this? I have to pay? No, I just want to download it. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Ah, a lot of wonderful happy accidents. It was beautiful. I, the dessert. I think I'm. I'm a believer in the dessert spires. Okay, so this one it, in a quest to reactivate your systems, play as a tethering mobile power source as you race against time to stop a malicious virus from shutting you down. These are the beautiful uh, students who worked on this game. 
Am I going to stream shoveling your driveway? I might do. Yeah, actually, I think I probably should. I should do an Instagram, um, a live Instagram of me shoveling my driveway. So if you guys don't don't know this, in Utah right now, uh, for anyone outside, there is about two feet of snow outside. And so the school is shut down today. So we're doing a special snow day uh, global game jam stream. Okay, let's check this out, my friends. Repower. Okay, here we are. GGJ 2020, my friends. Made with Unite. Lost Chibi. Welcome. Uh, will I? Sh yeah, sure. Yeah, after I get done with mine, 10 hours. Should be uh, there by tomorrow, Mr. JP OMB. Okay, repower. Let's, let's, uh, let's get back to the task at hand. We've got some settings. Wow, we got sound, volume. We got a volume slide. This is like uh, legit. You guys put all the bells and whistles into this. We got an exit and a start. Nice work. Okay. Okay, I have to remember how to do this. Is this just a point and click? Oh, there we go. I snapped onto something. Ah. So what can I grab onto and what can I not? That's the question. Okay, we grabbed onto that. What? Okay, it's kinda... So the green things I cannot grab onto, just, oh, just these uh, hanging deals. Okay. Oh, and I'm running out of bats. Oh, that's bad. Don't run into those. Okay, there's the battery. Okay, there we go, got it. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Mecha Tuna, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, okay, so if I hang on to this, then I charge. Okay. Okay, so you're charged. Now I need to find that item. Oh, was that it? That was it clear back there. Oh, so how do I... All right, well, we're going to figure this out. It's actually pretty this is a uh, this is fun oh no so this is only the tether is the only control I keep trying to like adjust my momentum with the uh, arrow keys and that is a no-no okay let's grab onto that okay so it was something over here so that is what I was supposed to hit onto is that right Ah, oh, that started the whole game. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> okay, so my question is, can I use the, uh... I need to go this way? Can I use the battery again to recharge? What are you? Nothing? Okay, so I need to make my way through here. Wee! Okay, we're gonna make it past you. Okay, no. Here we go. Gotta get my bats. Gotta get some batteries again. Here we go. Charging up my batteries again. We're gonna do this. Palmerian, how are you doing, my friend? You, you've been missing out on all the fun this morning. I'm currently charging my batteries. We're pretty much done okay is that looks bad right so I'm following oh no what what no totally shot off in the wrong direction I'm just gonna keep my momentum because it seems like I'm kind of going the right way okay and then I'm gonna do this yes Oh, another battery. This will keep me happy. Hey, 
painful to watch. Painful to watch, fun to play. Oh, don't do that. Okay, no. Ouch. Okay. Okay, one more shot. Can do this faster. Ah! Okay, we tethered. Oh boy. Ow. Oh, I'm getting... Oh, I just realized that you don't have to hold... Yeah, let's make it around this dude. Come on. Okay, get my batteries back up to speed. Okay. No! This is this is uh super easy. Okay, stop! Okay, zip over, please. There we go. Oh, that is a. Uh, I have a hard time reading what's walls and what's not. I'm in trouble. Okay, we can do this. Where are you? No, 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 no. Come on. I'm running out of juice. I tried so hard. Da, 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 da. Should we give it one more shot? This is a fun game. Got the juice. Okay, let's do this faster now. Okay, we're cruising. Look at that speed. <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, we're not doing this right. guys okay uh, so that was really cool I'm really bad at your game I'm sorry um, so I, I was realizing the trick of it is uh, I tried JP I tried to go fast so I'm just barely getting used to the controls so this is one I'll have to come pick up next time so originally the whole the whole game I think the first two or three times I played I thought you had to hold the mouse button to keep your um, your tether on the the object you're trying to grab and so what you actually have to do is click on that and then click off. And so I think um, going forward, if you wanted to, to adjust this game and make it a little bit more intuitive, uh, it would have been super obvious to me if I held down the mouse button and it kept my, my tether on that thing. And when I let go of the mouse button, it releases it. Um, because I realized that I have to like use my momentum to sling me around things quite a bit. So I think that one tiny change would actually... Um, like improve on it because the concept is really cool and I actually think because you're only doing a click and touch mechanic that this game would port a hundred percent over to mobile or iPad without any issues and would actually be something that would be like intuitively super fun because you're just you're just instead of using the mouse you're just touching where you want to tether onto and then letting go of that 
uh, yeah, that's that's my hot take on that. Take it, take it for what it's worth. Um, but that is it. So I didn't have a chance to get to um, uh, the faculty game. Uh, the faculty award-winning game, which is called Affordable Care Action. Uh, so if you guys get a chance, uh, feel free to um, play that one. We don't even have any pictures up. We were busy running the show. But I would love to hear your uh, opinions on that. But yeah, even the Switch would be an awesome platform for that, right? Um, but I want to go back to all of our games. Uh, so we had... Uh, oh, we're missing one. Okay, so we had uh, five completed games at the University of Utah. We had about 45 um, students and faculty that were working on games all weekend, and it was an amazing, amazing time. Uh, if you haven't taken part in the Global Game Jam in the past, I highly recommend it. In 2019, there were 8,000 8, games submitted over that weekend, and I am looking forward to just going through and randomly selecting some of them. I want to do some more Global Game Jam streams uh, where we just – look through and, and find those uh, gems that are in there. I would say four of the gems uh, were played today. Uh, they're beautiful games. Uh, I'll be putting this up on YouTube at some point. Uh, so definitely check out my YouTube channel. Um, exclamation point YouTube. We'll give, a sh give myself a shout out. And then I stream um, student games. I'm on caps lock, my friends. Does that still work? I stream student games uh, throughout the week at random times. Uh, if you want to keep uh, keep in touch of when that's going to be happening, follow my Twitter or uh, become a member of my Discord. Uh, other than that, my set schedule is every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning. I stream Mario Maker 2 where I play viewer levels, which means anyone who hops into my stream and submits a Mario Maker 2 level, I will play it on stream and post it on my YouTube. As well as Texture Tuesday, I have committed to... Uh, I have promised an uh, occasional player that I would do a an art stream this Tuesday, probably during lunch, uh, my lunch hour at the school, um, but that's what's going to happen. So everybody, thank you so much for watching and taking part. Everyone who took part in the Gleam Jam, everyone who watched today, thank you so much.